Hey and welcome, in this tutorial guide I'm going to walk you through from start to finish how you can create your very own WordPress website. So we're going to begin by looking at different web host providers in South Africa and how to purchase your domain name and your hosting package. Then we're going to move on to installing WordPress, setting up your theme and your coming soon page and some other technical bits in the web backend of WordPress. Okay, so in South Africa, we've got a couple of host providers that you can purchase your domain and your hosting through. Some of them include Hetzner, which you can see here, Red Hippo, Afrihost, and domains.co.za. For this tutorial guide, I'm going to walk you through purchasing a domain and hosting with domains.co.za. This is a personal preference, and of course, you can do your research into exactly what each of these host providers um, provide you with. So each of them give different services in their web hosting plans and of course each one costs a different amount per month. Now the domain is usually about the same price. So let's start with domains.co.za and we're going to purchase our domain name. Now this is something you can't change. You can of course purchase another one. So make sure when you do um, purchase your domain name, you are sure of the domain name that you choose. So I'm going to keep this simple and I'm going to choose nicolatwee.co.za. Um, I've already got the .com, but I'm going to do the .co.za just um, to show you how this all works. So we're going to click search. And oh no, it's already taken. So of course, we're going to have to look into this and purchase a, another domain name um, that we can use. So let's try the WordPress workspace and see if that's available. Okay, so that's available. And as you can see, that's 79 Rand, 79 Rand per month. As we can see here, it says price shown for one year registration. So we're going to add that to our cart. Once it's in our cart, we'll proceed to the cart and then we will choose our hosting package. So this is who is privacy and I'm going to turn that off. I don't need that and I can add web hosting. Now this is total preference on exactly what your website is going to be for how much traffic your website is going to get, etc. For me, it's just going to be a budget website. So I'm just going to choose the 62 Rand per month. I'll click the order now button and that will of course add it to my cart. I'm going to use it with my WordPress workspace domain. So I'll click use. Okay, and that's all set up. Um, then it asks me, do I want an SSL certificate? Um, I highly recommend you purchase this. Um, I'm not going to purchase this myself at the moment simply because this is just a test and play around website. Then you can choose Code Guard Backup if you want. Basically, this just backs up your website every month and you have to pay 25 Rand or 50 Rand. So then we're going to click Continue. And basically, it's 90 Rand a month. And we're going to click continue and as we can see we're going to review and then we're going to check out so let me click check out and if I'm not a customer then basically what I'm going to do is become a new customer fill out my details and complete this order so I'm going to go ahead and do this and then I'm going to come back to you okay so now once you've gone through the whole process of checking out, putting in your bank details, setting up your account, making payments, etc. You'll be able to log into your account, go to the manage account section, and then go to web hosting, and it'll come up like this. Now, if we go to the website, so it's the wpworkspace.co.za, hit enter, it's basically a blank page. Um, it still takes a while for it to populate. Um, sometimes this can take um, a couple of hours or even a day okay so you just have to be patient but let me just we're gonna start and go through this back end and click on the manage button here and then we're going to head to our control panel and this is where we are going to install WordPress 
So if we scroll down to the bottom, we will see here we've got WordPress. So we're going to click on WordPress. And basically, we're going to hit this nice blue install now button. We're going to choose exactly the protocol and we can just leave it like that. If you have a SSL certificate, then you can choose HTTPS. Then we're going to choose the domain that we're going to install it on and it's the wpworkspace.co.za. Make sure this directory is empty and we're going to change the site name here. Leave the site description, we can amend that. Um, and then we're going to amend this here. And make sure you change your admin email as well. Okay, and once you're done, you can click install. You don't need to worry about anything else. Okay, and there we go. Now, again, if we head to this link, it won't work because it hasn't populated. So we're going to have to wait a couple of hours. And once we've waited those hours, to see, then um, we'll come back and I'll walk you through the steps of installing your first theme and creating a coming soon page. Okay, so great news, our website has propagated. So we can head to the domain and have a look at what it looks like at the moment. So this is what it looks like. Yours might look a bit different. It might just be a different version of the 2017-2016 theme that's been installed. Okay, so once you click on this, you will actually see this at the top, which means you are logged in. If you want to, you can rather click on this WP-admin and that will take you straight to the back end of your website. Now this is WordPress and if you've never seen the back end of WordPress, this is what you're going to be dealing with and this is where you're going to blog, create your pages and look after your WordPress website. Okay, so first thing I want, we want to do is we want to create a coming soon page. Now, a coming soon page is a great thing to put up while you work on the back end of your website. Um, you can help, it can help generate interest in your business or interest in your blog. And also, this is not very pretty, so you don't want people to see this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a plugin. So we're going to head to plugins, we're going to click on add new, and we're going to install the coming soon plugin by Seedprop. So we'll just head to search plugins here on the right hand side. We'll type in coming soon. Okay, and then we will install this coming soon page and maintenance mode mode by Seedprod. It's a plugin that's had lots of active installs. Um, it's up to date, it's compatible with my WordPress version. Now obviously you can see there are heaps more plugins. So if you want to, you can use something else. This is just a plugin I recommend. So let's click install and once it has been installed, we're going to activate that plugin and then set it up. Okay, so that has been installed. We're going to click on this activate button. Okay, and then once it has been activated, it will jump straight to the coming soon setup. Okay, so it's a very easy setup. We can um, enable the coming soon mode here. If we disable it, then it won't be on and people will be able to see this version of our website. So we've enabled it and we can have a live preview of what it's going to look like. And basically this is what it looks like now. I did have a play with it before and added in this, my, my site's in the making. You can add in your logo, you can ha add in a headline. So let's just add in a logo. So we'll select our files from our, our desktop or wherever we have them saved. Now obviously you have them saved where you know exactly where they are. So let's choose that. I'm going to insert that into our post. Um, we are going to click save changes and just have another live preview. There we go. And you see, you just add in your logo, add in your text, etc., and work your way through the design and um, the advanced section. If you want here, you can add in a few other things and then just click save. Okay, so once your coming soon page is up and running, um, 
if you are logged out of your WordPress website, then that is the only thing that people are going to see. They are not going to see this back end. So you can happily work away on this back end, make changes to the theme, etc. And all people will see is this until it's disabled. And to disable it, basically what we'll do is go to content here, click the disable button and save all changes. And if you're never going to use this coming soon page again, what we can do is we can go to plugins, we can go to installed plugins and we can actually deactivate the plugin and delete it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to work on is our theme. Now, our theme is basically what our website looks like um, and the three standard ones installed on your website already. Um, but you can add a new one by clicking up here, add new. And there's so many free ones that um, come with WordPress. So you can either choose a free one, or if you have purchased one, you can click upload theme, click choose file, find the file on your desktop. Okay, so I'm just going to actually find something that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, I'll choose a Let's choose a simple Genesis 3 theme, just the Genesis theme. We'll open that and install that. And once it has been installed, you can activate it. And then once you refresh your browser, so let's activate this. And once I refresh my browser, so this is what our website looked like before. Now that we refreshed it and we changed our theme, you'll notice that it has been that the the layout of our website has changed and of course there are so many great premium theme providers out there and themes go from $25 to $100 just depending on where you purchase it from you can get themes from Etsy from Restored3316 from Theme Forest from Creative Markets there are so many great resources out there for beautiful themes and um, that enable you to create a beautiful website super fast okay so that is basically how you create your first WordPress website. Obviously, there's so much more that goes into the layout and content and SEO, etc. But this is the basics and it has taken us about half an hour to get online. So if you guys have any questions and you really like this video, then please let me know. And if you want any more videos like this, then again, let me know. Drop me an email to hello at the WPWorkspace.com. Thanks, guys.